I'm R.C. Bray. I narrated Helldivers by Nicholas Sansbury Smith. You can tell the influence classic sci-fi has on this book. You can also tell the influence that zombie apocalypse craze is, is taken in this book. But blending the two, I think, will open up a, a whole new world to people who just don't listen to sci-fi. I read a book called The Martian, and what I think that book did is opened up a whole new uh, um, audience for science fiction. What I think makes uh, Helldivers different from most other sci-fi books is that it's not only sci-fi, but you got the apocalypse going on there too. It's, it's, it was, I, that's one of the things that made me very happy they cast me for it. I was like, oh, this, this is kind of a blending of the two that I like. It's a trilogy, so the first book is gonna grab you. It's, it's the perfect length for an introduction to this because he touches on everything. He, meant, he gets you up in the hive, he gets you back down on what the old world, which used to be Earth, and what's happening there now, what's happening in between. He does a great job of keeping it all compact uh, to keep you interested. So by, at least I, by the end of it, was like, well, right, good, I'm glad this is a trilogy, but can you hurry up and write the second one? So, <laughs> and I think he may go a little longer in the second, and I think he should, but that's just because I love it. Some of my favorite characters to do, though, are definitely there, too. I like the uh, X, the protagonist. I always get uh, typecast as, you know, the, the alcoholic PI down on his luck. He's got a cat and an ex-wife and all that, but that's kind of who he seems like. Um, so I was able just to slip right into, I mean, he starts off going on this hell diving mission down to the old world, Earth, hungover. I mean, he's, just, <laughs> he's, and he's just feeling the pressure of all this stuff. So, and I guess as a parent of three young kids, I feel that way too. <laughs> so it, it, I like doing him a lot because, it, you know, you always start with yourself as the protagonist and it's just that I'm, I'm right there. So it's just easy to jump into. Um, I like Captain Ash. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying not to give away anything in it, um, but she has a very interesting situation that allowed me to do something different with a, a female character and voice, and I, that was a lot of fun. And also Weaver, uh, who is another hell diver that's, you know, down on Earth, and he, he, I like his story a lot. He has a lot of challenges to get over, and like by far, I think the most action because uh, he's trapped down on Earth and he has to get back up to the hive. It's not the hive, actually. It's the other. Um, but those three guys, I just loved. I loved their scenes. If I were on the hive, uh, I would hope that my role or job would be a hell diver. I mean, it just looks awesome. Look I mean, if you look at the cover of the book right there, it's like, oh, it's awesome. You know, but uh, I would, and I think it would help, too, because of, you know, the rationing and stuff that you have to do up on the hive. I think I would slim down a little and I'd be able to get into the chute. <laughs> so I'm hoping it would be that. Uh, so what do I think is gonna happen in book two, book three, the rest of the trilogy? Honestly, I hope all the main people die. And here's why. It was mentioned to me in a conversation about would narrators still be around in the future? And no, they would not. But storytellers would be. People are storytellers, and I think it would go back to that naturally. Uh, and it would almost be a form of entertainment on board. So that's kind of why I would hope they would die. They would become legend in whatever ends up happening. As with most um, books, you have two, definitely two different experiences. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sometimes three if it's made into a film. I always love books. I mean, books you can't replace. Um, but the audiobook, in a lot of cases, not always, some things you want to read, they're very personal and you just want to take your time with it. But something like this one, like Helldivers, is just nonstop. I mean, and it's, to hear it is a completely different experience. It's, I think it's more exciting as, a, as an audio, is my opinion, than it is reading it. Because when you're listening to stuff, it's jumping at you. The way it was written, I'm not sure if he intended it. Um, but it came across well. Like I said, I was listening to it, and yeah, that's, that's the first thing that came to mind. I was like, this is really good in audio. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of descriptions. The, the characters are so different um, that you almost want to hear them. But again, some people just want to read it, and, you know, take the action as it comes, or they're going to pass out, you know? <laughs>